I mean, Betty, this has been a tough report overall, so let's get you up to speed on what the headline numbers are. In terms of earnings per share, it wasn't earnings, it was a loss per share. The loss comes in at around 13, uh, again, 13 cents per share. Uh, if you look at the overall picture, that includes a 10 cent per share impact from foreign exchange on Venezuelan FX restrictions. The estimate here was for a profit of 8 cents per share, so a very big miss here. In terms of sales, revenues coming in at $3.07 billion, missing the $3.37 billion average analyst estimate. It doesn't end there. Profit margins, they were also lower, 33.9% in terms of gross margins. The analyst community was expecting 39.4%. So again, a very large miss on profit margins as well when it comes to, to the actual smartphone shipments. That's big too because they shipped 6.8 million smartphones in the first quarter. An average of 13 analysts that we polled here at Bloomberg said that they were going to ship about seven and a half million smartphones. They're also forecasting a loss next quarter when analysts were expecting some kind of gain. Now, this is important, Betty, because this is the first full quarter that we've seen these BlackBerry Z10 model sales come out. That's the big idea. Could these phones have actually done something to improve sales? Also worth noting, Betty, that the short interest, the number of people betting against BlackBerry stock was at a record high entering this. So that's why you see that stock down precipitously so far in the pre-market, Betty. That's right, about 20% right now in the pre-market, Dom. So uh, it's not just BlackBerry, though, that could feel the pinch. There's ripple effects here. Yeah, there are. There are ripple effects. What, one of the things that we'll be watching for is how many companies are also affected by this particular move in BlackBerry shares. Remember, these Z10 smartphones, they use components from a lot of different other suppliers. If you look at some of these, we're looking at names like Celestica, which gets around 12% of their revenues from BlackBerry. Also, Interdigital gets about 14% of their revenues from BlackBerry. And another one here watching as well is Jable Circuit. They get around 10% of their revenues from BlackBerry. So, Betty, this is not just about BlackBerry and the smartphone sales. The ripple effects here could include other suppliers, people in BlackBerry supply chain. So that's why we'll be watching all those shares throughout the course of the day, Betty.